Adorners, welcome back to Adornment with Adrienne. Today I continue my weekend sweet treat series and we're gonna do a cake tasting cake without all the work. All right, so as I said, so I have one yellow box cake, a box of vanilla pudding, a cup of milk, five eggs instead of three, and a cup of butter, along with a tablespoon of vanilla. All right, let's get started. Okay, Adorner, so as I said, we're making a cake hack today and I am going to add uh, my dry ingredients first. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see? All right, so first I have one vanilla cake mix. All right. Pour that in. All right. I have one pack of vanilla box of vanilla pudding. This is actually a 5.25 ounce box, not the, okay, of vanilla instant. Okay, this is not the one that we cook. This is an instant pudding. I am actually putting, kind of mixing in, incorporating the pudding and the cake mix together. All right, and I have already pre-measured a cup of milk. Okay. Okay, daughter, so I pre-measured a cup of milk. I have a cup of melted butter. Rich, rich, rich. Okay, pour it on in. Okay, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of vanilla. You might think, why is she using that cheap vanilla? But I actually saw an episode of America's Test Kitchen and they thought that this one was the best, even though it was cheap. Okay, doing it. So I've already added four of my eggs. I have my last one. I do suggest that you break these eggs over a bowl or in a bowl to make sure you don't have any shells, but this was just a quick hack. Okay, doing it. So I've added in my one cup of milk, one cup of butter, five eggs instead of three, and a, a box of vanilla pudding, instant pudding, and a tablespoon of vanilla. All right, and so I have it all in. You can see, I'm gonna just give it a quick stir before I turn on my actual mixer, okay, to try to incorporate just a little bit here. How are you today? We continue our weekend sweet treat series, don't we? All right, I am wearing a dress, by the way, ultra dress. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have one, uh, one of my aprons, so many aprons, okay. All right, so we're gonna mix our cake for about three minutes, three to five minutes to incorporate everything. It looks so rich, oh my gosh. And then we're gonna put it in our pan. Okay, Adorna, so I actually beat my cake for three to five minutes. I have to say, this batter is so thick. It is thicker than a snicker, all right? And you can see, it's not the normal consistency We've added in all those wonderful, rich ingredients, and man, it, you can tell the difference. I, I have to say that. All right, so I have pre-floured, greased with Crisco, and floured a couple of nine-inch regular uh, baking, round baking pans, and I am going to add our batter and put our cake in the oven 25 minutes on 350. And as I said, this batter is so thick, you can see it rich, woo! It is thicker than the snicker, isn't it? That's what they say around <laughs> here in the South quite a bit um, about, usually about women though. Okay, Adorners, so I have my cake uh, pretty evenly distributed between each pan. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. Let it shake it a little bit. This is some thick batter. So I have flour and grease my pan. I've added about half of the batter to each um, pan. You can see it's ready to go in the oven. And I'm gonna put it on, cook it on 350 for 25 minutes. Okay, Dorna, so I put my cakes in the oven for 25 minutes. Let's see how these turn out. Okay, Dorna, so while our cake is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and whip us up a really quick buttercream. I have a stick of unsalted butter and I am going to add a half a cup, a half a cup of Crisco shortening. Usually I got, I have the stick for baking. Okay, and I'm gonna cream this together and add a tablespoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and two tablespoons of heavy cream, along with four cups of confectioner sugar. Let's get started and cream our butter and shortening together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I know some people like to use Mexican vanilla and all different types of vanillas, but as I said, I saw this on America's 
test kitchen and it tested very Okay, good. donor, so I've measured out. I've beat together a uh, half a cup of shortening along with one stick of unsalted butter. I put in a tablespoon of vanilla and I have two tablespoons of heavy cream to add. And I am also going to add in, I've measured out four cups of confectioner sugar and I'm gonna go ahead and add that. One. Okay, and four. Just gonna go ahead and pour the rest into the bowl. Okay, Donna, so I've actually uh, gone ahead and put in four cups of confectioner sugar, uh, mixed it together, incorporated it, and now I am going to add a tablespoon, two tablespoons of heavy cream. Add in two tablespoons of heavy cream. All right, one and two. All right, we also need a pinch of salt. That's up to you, it's optional. Okay, Adorna, so I've added in my heavy cream and I'm gonna go ahead and mix that, beat that together, cream it together, and it's almost time to take out our cakes. Our icing is done, it tastes really great, and it's time to take out our cake. Okay, Adorna, so I've taken the cakes out of the oven. You can see they look beautiful. My straw test <laughs> came out clean. Okay, all right, and I have my buttercream. You can see buttercream looks beautiful and I'm gonna let one cool and the other set up and then we're gonna frost our cakes okay donor so I've broken out my lazy Susan as you can see I got this on sale at the spring shop of a craft store um, and I use it as, I think it's so much easier to frost your cakes this way do you use a lazy Susan okay donor so I'm adding down our again I'm adding down so I'm gonna add just a little bit more buttercream and another sheet the opposite way of wax paper and now I'm going to add my cakes and frost okay donor so I've added a dab of buttercream to our wax paper and it's time to remove our cakes from the pan as you can see it came out beautifully remember we had our Crisco and our flour okay donor so I'm going to use my serrated knife Right, just to make sure our cake is level across the top. This would be a good thing for anyone who wants to have the it's a little extra crumbs. Time to taste. Okay. Move that. Right, we want it to lay flat. So we want our cake to be level when we're frosting it and adding our next layer. So just to make sure. All right, just going straight across. It smells really great. It's nice and moist. Okay, Dorner, so I have a dab of my buttercream. I'm just gonna put it in the middle on my cake here. All right, just gonna use my Lazy Susan. Spread some of the buttercream across. Okay, Dorner, so I have actually put a layer of our buttercream in the middle. And I'm gonna turn, you can see how flat my cake came out. I'm gonna actually turn my cake upside down um, instead of putting it right side up on top of our frosting here to make a flat surf. So I've gone ahead and leveled out our cake with our serrated knife. And I am going to turn my cake upside down on top of our first layer. Okay, here we go. Voila. I added just a tablespoon of warm water to my uh, buttercream. I had it in the fridge and it's time to uh, add a little dollops on the top and it is time to frost our cake. Okay, so I'm going to use my Lazy Susan. Like I said, even this out. This first layer would kind of be like a crumb coating. Okay, and I'll go back over it, but around the sides as well. Okay, with our frosting, done a crumb coating um, of our buttercream icing across the top and the sides of our cake. And then I'm gonna let this set for just a bit and harden up. And then I'm gonna add our final coating of our buttercream. I'm going to take my cake and put it on a cake plate and I'll be right back. Okay, donors, that ends our episode three of our weekend sweet treat series. I have 
added uh, one layer of frosting on top of our homemade buttercream. And I took the cake off of our Lazy Susan with a spatula, with the spatula that we were using. And I plated it on a cake plate. I don't know that anybody would know this was not a real cake made from scratch. So um, as always, thank you for joining me with Adornment with Adrian. I'm your girlfriend or your auntie of lifestyle and decor. And as always, instead of saying goodbye, I say saving hello for another time. See you in the next video.